Enbridge police shot and killed a dog after it got loose in the municipal parking lot. Good evening and thank you for joining us and welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Pittsburgh. I'm Erica Stanish. Now this all happened while officers were looking for the dog's owner. KDK's Lauren Linder spoke with a woman who heard it happen and saw the aftermath. She's live in Ambridge with the details. Lauren. Erica, the shooting happened in this parking lot outside the Ambridge Municipal Building. A woman who heard the dog get shot by an officer uh, tells me that she is traumatized. And then she heard the dog get shot again when the officers put the dog down. Now, in the morning on Friday, a different woman found the dog on 23rd and Lens. She tells me it was sweet and licking her. She called police who eventually took it and shared this post on the department. Facebook page showing the dog going for a ride along. In a statement, the Ambridge officers say the officer had the dog say the dog had no tags and no chip. They say they put the pit bull mastiff mix in an outdoor kennel, but when they went to take it to the Beaver County Humane Society, it became aggressive, trying to bite an officer's hand and then biting his leg. A little later, they say the dog escaped the kennel and was running loose, eventually charging at an officer officer and lunch, which they say gave the officer no choice but to shoot it. Barb Morenic heard the shot and ran outside. She's absolutely traumatized by what she saw and feels other steps could have been taken. Animals can't speak for themselves, but somebody has to speak for them. And I'm trying. I'm trying. It's just what I saw and just the, the, the situation I just thought should have just been handled a lot better so that the poor animal just didn't suffer like that. Now, the executive director of the Beaver County Humane Society tells me that they do not have a contract, uh, have an animal control contract with Ambridge Police Department. They say that they are saddened by what by the outcome, but say that officers have a right to defend themselves in a dangerous situation. I'll have much more coming up at 10 and 11, but for now reporting live in Ambridge, Lauren Linder, KDKA TV News.